Regardless of geographical location, all water is required to go through a disinfection process. It's critical to public health that all contaminants, bacteria and solids are removed to safeguard animals and humans. Similarly, wastewater is required to be treated in order to, for it to be returned to the environment safely. The tap water in the UK comes from various sources, such as rivers, reservoirs, wells and lakes. The water sources vary from region to region, however, contaminants are a constant. Regardless of where you live, your water has been treated with chlorine. Now, in the past, chlorine has saved us from the likes of dysentery and typhoid. However, it brings with it significant drawbacks. With chlorine disinfection comes the formation of triomethanes. Now, there are 600 triomethanes, however, four are of particular concern in the drinking water industry. These are chloroform, bromodichloromethane, dibromochloromethane and bromoform. Water disinfection has come a long way and there are several established emerging disinfection technologies on the market today. These are chlorine gas, sodium hypochlorite, calcium hypochlorite, chlorine dioxide, chloramination, ozone, ultraviolet light or ESOL, electrolyte water. We recognise the area where new technologies and innovative ideas are required to help with global water issues. These issues are water shortages, contamination removal, water disinfection and water reuse. Our ESOL generator has been approved by the Secretary of State for use in public drinking water. Our ESOL generators are one of the first of its kind in Europe. It produces ESOL and electrolyzed water, which is a chlorine replacement. However, it's safe, it's not harmful to the environment and it's not costly to produce. How does it work? If you'd like to find out more about ESOL and the generators themselves, click on the link below or get in touch. Thanks for watching.